everyone, my name is Filipa and welcome to a new YouTube video. Before I get started, let me thank you to my patrons and also to Ultimate Guard. So this deck is actually very fun and uh, I always loved Rakdos Sacrifice since it was a thing in standard I've been playing with it. And Six Avon actually gave us some nice tools. This list is from my friend Kabir. I don't know if she was the one uh, that created this exact list, but she was the one that gave it to me to try in a tournament uh, called the VML. And I actually won my match in that tournament, so that's pretty nice. Um, so basically, this deck also has a lot of the learn mechanics, as you're going to see. We are running Giganta as our companion, and then we are running Eye Witch. And Eye Witch, it's a new card from Strix Avon, is a one mana, one one flying. And when these dies, learn. And you can go learn for three things. So, first of all, you can go learn from Necrotic Fumes, which is a three mana as an additional cost to cast this spell, exile a creature you control. Exile target creature or planeswalker. At first start side, this might not look like very good. I mean, you have to exile a creature to exile another creature from your opponent, so it's not like great. But at the same time, you do have claim of the first board and also Archer more to steal creature from your opponent. So you can steal a creature from your opponent and then exile it and exile another creature from your opponent. So you end up exiling two creatures from your opponent. So that's pretty nice. Uh, we are also running start from scratch, three mana, and you choose one. This deals one damage to any target or destroy a target artifact. So this can destroy Amber Cleave, um, also the artifact of the white artifact that gives a creature plus two plus one and flyer. It's pretty good. And then pass summoning, which just is very good in your deck overall. It's a three mana, create two one one past tokens. Uh, then we are running four village rights, four claims of the firstborn. We are running. Four and for specimen, also a new card from uh, the the set from the Strix Avon. You create a one one black green pass token and you learn. So I already told you what you can learn for. Uh, they are all three mana cards, uh, three mana cost cards. So you can do this on turn two and then you have a third drop to play, which is great. Uh, we also have a Plum of the Forbidden. Once again, this card is from Strix Avon. As an additional cost to cast this spell, you may sacrifice one or more creatures when you do copy this spell for each creature sacrifice this way. You draw a card and you lose one life. So as you see, we have a lot of ways to steal our uh, the creatures from your opponents. And we also do a lot of pass tokens. So this is a great way to kill those and just get a lot of cards. We are running three cro Croxus. Uh, we are running four Bastions, and Bastion is a key card in this deck because it allows you that every time th something dies from you, you drain. And that's another way to win. You don't even need to attack. So if you got a big enough plump with a Bastion on the board, you, you can just be lethal. We then have four Sedgemore Witch, which is a 3 mana, 3-2. Three, uh, it has manance, and the ward is paid 3 life. Magecraft, whenever you cast or copy an instant or sorcery spell, you create a pest token. And actually, this goes super well with the Plum, because the Plum copies this spell for each creature you sack. So if you sack a lot of creatures, you are going to repeat this spell, draw a bunch of cards, and also you're going to activate Magecraft from Sigemore Witch a ton of times and making a lot of pests. So you're basically replacing your pests that you just sacrificed with new ones. Which is very good, especially if you have like Bastion of the Remembers on the board that allows you to drain each time you do this. Then we are running three Wolf Striders, we are running three Akron Wars, so a very uh, drain-focused deck uh, with a lot of creatures, goes wide, tries to steal a lot of things, and we are running nine Swamps, three Mountains, four Padaways, four Temple of Malice, and four Fabled Passage. Sideboard, we are running the Rolling Vortex, and very important because, uh, spoiler alert, I always film this uh, after I played my matches for the video, and <laughs> I did not read this card through. So in my mind, the only thing this card did was at the beginning of each player's upkeep, this deals one damage to them. So I thought it was good against control, like when they try to do Aldrin's Epiphany, they start losing life. And also the red part that says you can pay one red mana and your opponents cannot gain life this turn, I thought that was also pretty good, uh, but I actually missed one part that I didn't know it existed, which is whenever a player casts a spell, if no mana was spent to cast a spell, Rolling Vortex deals 5 damage to that player. That means if your play play opponent is playing Sultai Ultimatum, when they cast Ultimatum, they cast 2 spells for free, so they have to take 10 damage. I didn't know that. 
I just sideboarded because I thought it was good against a control deck because they had epiphanies and like I thought it was just okay. But when they cast the ultimatum, you can't imagine my face of surprise. Uh, then we are running the three learning cards that I talked about. We are also running some duresses, some acts, and yeah, that's it. I, I don't like the new layout of the sideboard, but it is what it is. Uh, let's get to some games, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Okay, so we have an opponent here. Let's see, and I hope this deck works. Okay, let's see, what are you bringing? I, have, I haven't played Standard in a while. Uh, if you go see, my decks are almost all historic. Uh, so <laughs> I'm a bit rusty, uh, but I'm going to keep. Okay, so first of all, companions can tell you a lot. Almost usually, like 90% of the times means to more adventures, which I mean, claim can be very good because they do have a lot of tree drops. Uh, so I'm going to keep this. We do have two mana. We have access to two claims and two village rights, which is perfect. And Croxus. So for me, this is a clear yes, especially knowing that they are playing a creature deck. Um, so yeah, definitely, definitely seems like two more adventures. Um, of course, things can vary, but I'm almost sure that's the deck they're playing. Okay, so that makes sense. Um, being Mammoth, usually one of the cards that they play in Adventures. I could wait uh, to Village Rise my Crocs, but at this point, like, I don't have a, a three mana, so I kind of want to do this um, and see what they have. Because I already have a three, a three mana play if I have land. Uh, okay, so they took Aldrin's Epiphany, so they are definitely running to more Adventures. I have uh, actually a deck on... Uh, a video on that deck and it's pretty nice. Okay, so here I have options. I can claim, but I think the right thing here is just to play uh, a black source and go for Bastion because if they play the 5-5, five, five, we can steal it with claim. We have a 1-1, one, one, which means it can attack, which is pretty good. Uh, so I'd rather do this play. Yeah, because I'd rather steal the 5-5. Five, five. And be able to attack. Okay, a land is pretty good. I'm actually going to fetch the land first. Just because I want to dry my deck. Okay, so I'm going to claim. I'm going to attack. They might block because they don't want to take 6, right? Which is like good for me because the damage happens. I kill the 1-1 and I also kill... The 5-5, five, five, so that's golden for me. Now it's rain, so we draw two cards. Things are looking golden. Okay, so I got punished by playing this land first because I got Temple. Temple would be uh, better to play than this land, but yeah. I got punished for that play, but I really wanted to dry my deck out. Um, but yeah, that's a consideration that you have, that you can have tap lands that you rather play. In this case, Temple is the only one, I think. Okay. So that there's two options there that can be a sword coming or uh, another epiphany. Next turn is dangerous because it can be dragon turn. Uh, although we are running um, an Akron War, so sure. I'm going to attack. I'm going to village rights the one one. And I'm not playing the Fabled Passage because I might want to play the Temple now, right? Mm, it definitely looks like that's um, a counter. So I could Croc if I fail a Passage, but since I'm afraid that's a counter, I'm just going to Wolf Strider here. Okay, it is a counter. Perfect. So now I'm going to Temple. Uh, and for it's not a bad card. I don't hate and for specimens here, but I don't love it. So I'm going to pass because next turn I can Croxa claim Croxa, which is a lot of damage and a play that I really like. Um, because we are we have another piece of stealing, so we can just use the claim for Croxa. Okay, so that yeah, so that can be two things, as we know. Uh, I'm going to try to Croxa. And see if they counter it. One, two, three, wait. Okay, so actually I'm going to play Fabled Passage first because I don't want to have to exile my Wolf Strider. I'm going to actually get red. And I'm going to Croxa. 
one, two, three, f three, four, five, and we keep the wolf strata because that can come back from the grave. Okay, so they didn't have a counter because they would have used it. So that's another Aldrin's Epiphany. They can still not play it next turn because next turn they'll have um, five. Okay, so that's a dragon. I'm going to play my Croxa. Uh, they might have Brazen, which would be a bit annoying, but I okay, they don't. So let's see what that last card is. It is a land. And now I deal damage. Uh, having the village rights is important because there's a consideration when they return it to you and to your hand that you village ride it to deny the adventure part, which is very important. Okay, so game one, uh, they actually didn't have a great end. They had to mull, so yeah, not the best thing for them. Uh, let me think what I want. The vortex is not a bad thought, just because they do have extra turns. So I might put one. I do like the claims, I'm not going to lie. I, I guess I can take one Unforced Pessimist. Uh, I do like our deck like this. If they were playing Control, I would have put the Duresses. Duresses is not bad, but they have a lot of creature spells, uh, so I think this is pretty good. Of course, like in Historic is more difficult. For example, Luros is playing in several decks. It's playing in Auras, in Rogues, um, in... Uh, what's the name? <laughs> What's the name? Arcanist, you know, like, so. This is a mool. They capped, but this is a mool for us. Unfortunately, one land is not going to do the job. This is not much better, but is better. So I'm going to keep it. Village rights can always be very good, especially if we can get uh, our hands into a claim. Unforced Pessimist, very good drop here. I'm going to keep Bastion. Uh, the only problem with Bastion is that they have Brazens, uh, they can return it to our ends, but we already have the 1-1 one, one that, that we created advantage with, so... Okay, so they're putting a Love Struck Beast. Oh, that's a problem. Unfortunately, I don't have a claim for that. Uh, and that is a big problem. So here I'm going to actually take the star from scratch to try to kill the innkeeper, probably. I don't want to give them card advantage. Unless I get like um, a claim or something. Yeah, they probably go for the card advantage here. And I probably cannot give them more. There's the bait to be had in like just go Bastion. Because it definitely doesn't feel right, but to just spend three mana doing that, but it is what it is, you know. I can always Bastion Village right next, which is pretty good. Okay, so they have like okay, they have Brazen, that's fine. They're going for six damage. Which is quite a lot, I'm not going to lie, but we do have Bastion plus village rights. This is going to hurt. Uh, this is hurting a lot. So, if they have Bone Crusher Giant, at least I gain one life and I deny them the, the Bone Crusher. And I draw a couple of cards. Yeah, they, they have it. So now I Village Ride it. We draw two cards. We gain one life. They don't have the Bone Crusher Giant. So Wolf Strider is okay. We didn't get anything that we really needed. Uh, we needed a two drop. Oh, that's a problem. Kalotis is a problem. And they're reaching uh, a problematic territory where you have mana to dragon. Okay, land is not what we needed at all. A part of me wants to go Bastion, but a part of me also knows I can't. So I think I just go for Wolf Strider, because even if they kill it, I still keep a card, I guess. And I don't know if I can battle that Claudius, to be honest. Uh, although I am draining, so that's pretty good. Yeah, they have they have something. It is Brazen or Bone Crusher. Okay, that, that actually is not that bad, because at least it's not a 2 for one And here I can block the 5-5, five five, which is pretty good. But they have a flyer, and that doesn't help. Okay, so let's drain one, I guess. Next one I can do the... the um, 
the siege more and the bastion. Unfortunately, I am definitely going through a problem here with lands. Okay, so at least now every time a thing dies, it's a bit more more life that I gain, right? Yeah, brazen being a problem. Brazen being a problem. If they are smart enough, I think they don't even attack with the, the other creatures, right? They just attack with brazen. Okay, because like they them attacking, I just yeah, I just lose this. Like, <laughs> not much I can do when I have literally a million lands. Um, yeah, this is game. I can try to attack, see how they block. But I don't, they don't need to block. So, unfortunately, this is their game. Um, I mean, we got pretty flooded. Not much we could have done. So. I wish he's pretty good against Raisin. We didn't get lucky to have them, but but I, I don't I don't think we had a problem with the sideboard. I just think uh, we got a bit unlucky with the flood. Okay, I don't I don't love this end, but but I I can keep it. There's a lot of things that make this end good, so we do have a curve. Akron can be very good against them. Okay, they mold. That's a good sign. Uh, if we were on the draw, I think I wouldn't keep this because we can only start doing stuff on the third turn. But since we are on the play, I think it's safe to, to keep it here. And I'm getting a red source because we already have two black sources. So I'm going to get the second red. Please don't be in keeper. It's in keeper. Okay, we got one of the best draws, lol. I actually am going for a past summoning here. Um, because I, I want to be aggressive. I don't want to do the old lose the third turn here. So I want to do this one just because of the ward. Uh, for example, this makes me more... Pe okay. I mean, don't love it, but I'm, go I'm going to actually steal the Akron here. I mean, the, the collector, because I do have like a million of those, so... Might as well play it and go aggressive, I guess. Not giving them cards. Spe especially when they have Claudius, and Claudius puts me on a clock. So let them just keep playing creatures, hopefully, and we keep stealing them. I can just go past summoning next if they don't do anything. It's a nice play, too. Okay, so... They are going to get that back, sure. Do they replay it, is the question. They don't. Let me attack. I'm just going to play this to make yet another past. Next one I have the Claim, or even the Akron, so... I mean, we are both at 16 now after the Claudius resolves, unless they are going for mana. I think they are thinking about going for mana. They might have Goldspan Dragon. Which is a possibility. Although they would they, they wouldn't want to attack with it because he would die to the Akron, so Oops, my arena bucked. Okay. So they don't have second red. I I would assume they do this plus an adventure. Okay. I want to attack and see what they do. Because I think they are going for Brazen, right? Brazen cannot block. Let's see if they counter. I don't know if they have a counter or not. They kept their mana open. They can just... Ooh, they went for a stroke. Honestly, that's fine. If they spend their man on a stroke, I'm okay. That's fine. Like, I just... I am delaying them. I have more. <laughs> I have more stealing effects, you know? 
Really want them to play Love Struck piece there. They have to pay three life because of the word cost. Now the question is, do they play Love Struck Beast? They do. Okay, so this is probably a game secured for me. Let me see how much damage I have. I have five, six, seven, eight. I'm one off if I claim that and steal another one. So I'm actually going to Akron Worm this and attack. Okay, they decided just to take it. They might have Brazen. Brazen might be a problem. Okay, so they're back at 8. We know we have claims, so we probably are secured here. 4 mana. Okay. I'm going to play an Eye Witch. Not an Eye Witch, a Seedmore Witch. I'm going to claim this. I take two, but I do create a past. I'm going to attack with everything. That cannot block. They can only block with a 1-1, one, one, they lose it. Once again, we left. This is... Okay. Okay, next turn they get back the Wolf Strider, but we still have more attackers than they do. Although they are back to three, so this is going to be a complex game. Although now they have to attack, right? Oh, am I dead? How much is this? I block this. This doesn't have trample, I can just block this one, right? I can also do this just to kill it. So right now that's... Four damage. Okay. So let me see. I, I'm getting the one damage because I might do it face, right? Yeah, they are getting that back though. Okay, they are dead. Oof. That was a close game, but we got them. Okay, let's go. I really want the Professor Onyx avatar. I've tried the, some FNM codes, but I didn't get it yet. But it's so cool. But yeah, I have to stick with Lil Liliana. Uh, unfortunately, I cannot keep. Uh, one land is not enough. This is better. Can take one Strider. We do have a great curve here. They're playing Yorian, which probably is Sultai, which is probably not our best matchup, but let's try it. Okay. I want to end for specimens and get hmm, Kai Green. Yeah, it's definitely Sultai uh, Ultimatum, I think. No, oh, they paid. Okay. That makes sense. So let's get pests, I assume. Not the best matchup for us, I'm not going to lie. But so far, so good. I probably just go with the ward thing next. Can also just go Strider. Okay, that's fine. Maybe that means that they don't have mana. That would be great. No, they do. They can just put Yorian in their hand. Okay, they are cultivating. Damn, they have the ramp going on. Like, I'm here with two lands and they, they already have five mana. What? Six mana? That's great. They can ultimate them next. The dream. Let's put them at 14. I don't know what my best option is here at this point. Um, I have no clue. I mean, the, the witch is okay. Okay, they have that. I guess I can steal it eventually. If I can get um, an Akron. They still have 4 mana though. Okay. A Bastion would be good, too. I don't hate that, right? I, I really don't hate that. Okay. 
kind of want to set up for th for that, right? These flies, so I can attack. This would be great if I can find a Bastion. No, oh, that's an ultimatum. Oops. Oops, I did it again. I mean, let's see what combo they are going to get. I mean, I will assume Aldrin's Epiphany, Valky, Professor Onyx, something like that. Uh, Valky, Vorinclex. I mean, go for it. Go for it. Okay, so Vorinclex resolves first. And then they can mine us already if they want. They have five mana. They're going to do that. Okay, so let's see what they get. Because they only have five. They can just Yorian. No, they, they actually don't have mana to Yorian. They're just copying me. Look at that. Copycats. Okay, so let's sacrifice my past. Try to draw the maximum things that I can. We will gain four life, which is pretty good. But the draw of four is the important part. Hopefully something that saves us. Not really. Okay, I can just sack the past. Not a land. And unfortunately, I have to pass. There's led 13. No, I think there's no comeback from this. But let's see, maybe. Maybe that is one. Okay. So they're getting... Oh, Kioras? Yeah, Kioras is definitely a problem. Oh, and they already... Mm, that's great. My dad, I'm not. But close to it. Yeah, that's not it. I, I think against them I just need a lot of Bastions and to make a lot of creatures and go from that. So let me get uh, Duresses and the, I like the Rolling Vertex. Claims are just bad against them, let's take them all. With that I think we can take uh, as well one Akron. Uh, we can take one Village right. And we can take one plump, and let's try that. Yorian, sh um, not Yorian, Croxa should be good against them if it arrives early enough. Let's play first. Okay, I mean, I don't hate this. We, we are kind of playing a control game here, which I don't hate. Like, Duras can really delay them. So let's see where you are hiding. Okay, they don't have the best end ever, so that's good. They were relying on that, so that's good. I just go with the, the rolling Vortex. Just want to start giving damage. Okay, I can do the another one. I can temple, see what's on top of my library. I don't want another temple. Okay. I mean, they're slowly going down. Cultivate. Cultivate is bad. Uh, because they are one step closer to getting Professor Onyx. But still, Professor Onyx is not doing much here, to be honest. I think I just go for this. I'm also taking damage, which might be a problem eventually. Okay, 
Village rights is pretty good. Let's get a pest summoning. And I probably village rights my my pest here. Just depends on what they try to do. That gains me some life too, which is pretty good. Okay, they go for the Quandrix Cultivator. So they get a land, so it, it means that next turn they can have Professor Onyx. So let's see what I get from these pests. I kind of need to draw something. Oh, that's a good one, I like that. Oh, but I also like that, so... Debatable. I kind of want to do this plus Croxa now. And leave that for next. Do they go for a land? Because if they go for a land, they also take a bit of damage. Yeah, they went for the land. So they're at 10, technically. Also, like, we are very close from casting Croxa. Yeah, Shadow's Verdict is a problem. I'm not going to lie. But I think they cannot do anything else, so that's fine. I mean, I'm landlording a bit. So let's just steal that. Let them go for eight. I think they kind of are obligated to Professor Onyx Minus now. I don't know if they have a way to do it in my Akron War. You could just go for Yorian too. I really need a top deck here. They exiled my Croxus too, so... My chance on, are on these uh, rolling Vortex. That is where my hopes are relying now. Okay, so they go for Professor Onyx. We can always, like, stop them from gaining life. They might need to go minus. Which actually helps me. I mean, I don't mind Bastion at all. I like Bastion. We still keep the... Preventing them from gaining life. Okay. That's honestly not a problem. They have to plus the Professor Onyx here. I can Giganta next, which is pretty good. Just need a top deck. You lose one life. Okay, the them losing one life is pretty good. Because it means if they don't play their Yorin, they might be dead. So they took an a gate out, okay, and a land. I just need to be prepared to pay one for them not to gain any life this turn. Because Professor Onyx, uh, the, the passive ability, lets them gain life and you need to stop that. Just my turn, we are taking two damage, we go to seven. I'm going to attack face. Wait a second, Duras is pretty good. Let's attack first, see what they do. There was a previous obvious one there, I think. So they are going for two now. And the thing is that if they make me sack, they also lose a lot, so... They might like... Uh, really, they, they really top back there. Yeah, I mean, me taking damage is a problem. Because then I go down to one and I die, right? I think I'm dead just, period. Not a lot of chances for me here. Mm. I, I mean, I don't mind the val th that kills them, right? Oh, but they no, they cannot gain life. Oh, I forgot that. What? 
Rolling Vortex. Wait, I didn't even read about that. I only thought about the... What? I forgot. Okay. That card does that, apparently. I didn't know. Well, my, I, that's such a shame on myself. I didn't even read that part. That's why... That was. That's what happens when magic cards have too much text nowadays. So, apparently, I on, the only part that I knew about the Rolling Vortex is the one damage on each upkeep. And the opponents cannot gain life this turn. But apparently there's a line that says, Whenever a player casts a spell, if no mana was spent to cast this spell, this deals 5 damage to that player. Come on, give me... Now I want all the rolling vortex. I mean, this is not great. Uh, but I guess it's not that bad, right? This is like a 2 for 1, so... Could use the Rolling Vortex though. That card proved to be pretty good. I'm going to start with the, the Temple of Malice just because I need something to outvalue them. If you look right, it's pretty good. I like Bastion against them, honestly. I do like Bastion. Okay, they probably have the. Yeah. Let's get the best summoning. The next we can Bastion. Okay. Four mana. Quandrix. Yeah, Quandrix is a problem, that thing, because it just so much value with Yorian. And just ultimatum overall. Because they now have two, three, four, five mana. Next turn they have six mana. That's a bit insane. I need a, I need a, um, a dress here, I guess. I don't know what's taking them so long. They have one option. They either take an island or they take a forest. Basic, so... What's the problem, opponent? Did my opponent disconnect or something like that? Definitely feels like there's that possibility here. Did they were like, you're too strong? Maybe. No. Nope. Okay, so... Unfortunately, didn't get anything special. Let's just play Bastion. With the amount of pests that I have, Bastion can become good, I guess. Unless they have the ultimatums, then, then there's not much I can do. Okay, so they have six mana. Okay, they're going for Yorian. They probably have the ultimatum next. Oh, okay. Epiphany is there. Great. Where is the rolling vortex when you need that? I kind of want to go for it, right? I mean, Duress is good. I know that they have an Aldrin's Epiphany. Yeah, let's... Okay, they have an Aldrin's Epiphany, but now they don't... Okay. So, let's do another one of this. Kinda... I mean, I kinda wanna go past, honestly. Like, I'm not there afraid of Yorian. They have one gate, that's important to notice. I have to pray that they only get lands. That's a bit sad, but it's true. Okay, so they, they, they top deck the land. Okay, so they don't... Mm, they didn't went for the, the Epiphany. They're going to get an island so they can negate me, I guess. Yep. Ah, uh, that's rough, isn't it? Because now I could have done something pretty good, but I can't. Okay, so let's see if they counter this. Maybe they won't. I really want a Diacron War. I mean, if they negate this, then I can get eventually Yorian, so... It's not like my, my life is on a, a pinch here. Yeah, I can always... Wait. There's not really a point to attack here. Okay. So, if they attack here, do I go for... They got another land, that's good. I 
They can only kill three. And if they are going to get an extra turn, I guess this is the best I can do. Okay. My life total is getting up. Yeah, I think that's the best one. They're getting an extra turn. Okay, so unfortunately now I have to take six if they attack, but that's actually fine. Okay, they gotta try him. As long as they keep getting lands, I think I'm okay with that. Uh, Woman of the Sea is not good. How much mana do they have? One, two, three, four, five. One top. That's not good. That's not good. I, I mean, I have to take it. But that way I'll attack, though. Okay, I'm still at 22, so not too worried. Oh, Forbidden is good, though. I wonder if they let it happen. We know that they have negate, so that is a problem. Mm, I think I have to go for it, though. Yeah, I think I have to go for it. I should have attacked first. That was an oops. I could have left an M14. But hey, it is what it is. Yeah, I knew they were going to do that. Now that's a top card, so I don't like that. But I have to deal with that. Okay, that's a Seagate Restoration. Okay, that's fine, actually. Could be worse. So I can steal the Yorian. That's good. They could have been at 14. I did a bit of a misplay there. Let's start by attacking. Okay, they have something. I don't know if it's another one of this. Let's try this. Do this. Do you let me, though? They let me do this. Okay, so now I keep the Forbidden. And pass. It might be a Trium or oh, just that. Okay, let's see what they do. Hopefully they bottom bottom. Okay, that's good. So they have a lot of mana and three cards that we don't know. Kiara is a problem. Kiara is a problem, but we can attack with Yorian, so that's good. Although I can just sacrifice everything, honestly. But I can also save it to have the ward. Yeah, it seems like they want to do something. Like, do they have an act? <laughs> Still at these resolve again. Because if they do, they might be in trouble. I think they want to target this. They are going to tap everything that I own, so I might as well go for it. I mean, not that it ma matters too much, just because... Okay, so let's hope they don't... They are going to tap everything that I own, that's a problem. They are going to tap, they are going to go for 10 damage. But I guess this dies, right? Because it only taps, so th th those things die. Yeah. Thank to the Lord. Oh, and mine also die, which actually they that helps me quite a lot. Because now look at this. Let me gain some life. Let me bastion you up. Let's do that. Let's do this. Uh, let's do this. Let's do this.
Okay, they were just... They were just... I had enough. Okay, I thought this deck could not beat uh, Yorian, but apparently it can, and that's why. And now... Okay, I was honestly thinking I was not going to showcase this uh, video on YouTube because I was like, yeah, pretty boring against Yorian, I'm probably going just to lose. Uh, but actually, it was a pretty fun and intense match, so... 30 minutes of gameplay, oh my god. Okay, everyone, I think that makes it. Uh, we already have a lot of footage. And I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, subscribe, comment, and like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. I'm uploading every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. Bye-bye.